If there's ever a mismatch in size and style, this is it right here, Kathy. Well, it really is. It's, it's an odd couple situation. And Eli Everfly coming off of a knee injury. He's been out of the ring for about eight weeks. So you got to wonder if that's going to be playing into his strategy. Have things changed? We're used to seeing a very daring, very inventive, death-defying style. I've seen, he, I've been watching Eli Everfly for a few years now. He doesn't change his style very much. He's pretty much balls to the wall, high risk at all times. High risk and high reward, absolutely. And that's, that's definitely gonna be the case here as he is completely outsized in every way. Definitely the power of Watts is, is nothing Nothing to sneeze at, but Eli Everfly has really taken it to the big man. Well, Eli's, he's made a career out of beating guys bigger than him. He's very used to it. And right now, he's going to take advantage of our bar wrestling rules. Oh, springing off. Looked like he was looking for a head scissors, but he is caught up by and Big Nasty. Oh. Now, you'll notice there is no count being it instigated because there are no count outs here in bar wrestling. We go by bar room rules. The bar is open. And the rules are there are no rules. Well, there are some. Well, the rules are that Watts is going to beat your ass because right now, <laughs> Eli Everfly is just getting manhandled on the outside of the ring. That's the second time he's dropped him on the ring apron like that. It just bones of Eli Everfly are shattering as we speak. All of the force, the insane precision of Watts. Watt, oh. Eric Watts here, just he just seems to be taking pleasure in this. This is how he has fun. Just cracking another kick against the spine of Eli Everfly, which had already been slammed across the corner of the apron. Shoulders down for a one count. Eli Everfly. He's got that Doomfly mentality, Delilah Doom. Doomies never say die, and neither does Eli ever fly. They may never say die, but the uh, Pasadena Pulverizer oh. might have something to say about that. Eli's form just twitching in the ring. Cover with the, with the oversized shoe of Watts yeah, wa across the chest of Eli Everfly. Watts is decked out in all black tonight because this might be Eli's funeral. Got the memo for Mortuary Black. Yeah, Eli Everfly. You, you, like you mentioned before, Kathy, this could be a certain degree of ring rust, but uh, on, on the other hand, what are you supposed to do when you're in the ring with a seven foot tall, near 300 pounder? Well, it's, it's crazy to think Eli faced Watts in multi-person matches 2017, it was in a six-man match. 2018, it was in an eight-man match. 2019, they had a tag match, Wakanda Vice versus Doomfly. This is, I think, their first singles match here at Bar Wrestling. A lucky break right there for Eli Everfly. He managed to create some space here, and he's going to have to capitalize right now. Eli Everfly, boundless kinetic energy. Puts a clothesline across the throat of Watts. And now... Up in the heights where Eli Everfly thrives. Big senton off of the top turnbuckle. But what? Beautiful instinct to roll out of the ring and out of the clutches of the fly. You could see, though, that took that took a lot out of Eli just to get that senton. Oh. You could see him cringing in pain from his back. But looking for that acai moon salt. And we go back to the floor now. 
Eli taking a big risk there, but I don't know. He hasn't had too much luck outside. I must be thinking of smoothies. I think I called it Nasai Moonsault. It's a Nasai Moonsault. Delicious. I, wow, that was a delicious moonsault. There, a lot of antioxidants. Watts might be able to use one of them for a little pick-me-up after getting taken out at ringside by Eli Everfly. The crowd getting Eli riled up. He's he's just good, he's just gonna block that pain. He's gonna block it out here. If he's gonna continue here against Watts. All of that adrenaline coursing through Eli Everfly is it enough as he is in the clutches. No. Oh! Into a stunner on the apron. Yeah, I gotta say that was desperation. But uh, had he not pulled that off, I shudder to think what would have happened to Eli Everfly. Eli Everfly hooking the legs of Watts, cover, and a two count. Eli Everfly is someone that is willing, able, and almost eager to sacrifice his body for the win. And it's a prime example. Yeah, coming off of that injury, how much, how much can he sacrifice here? And he, the beat down. He doesn't want to spend any more time on that shelf. He wants to be in that ring competing. He's got to be careful. Bringing off, Casa, oh no, caught up, caught up by Let's Watts, look. who's looking for the chokes, oh, yeah. choke force, choke. and the cover. Eli able to get the shoulder up. It's just, it looks like a, a grown adult lifting a child. It's, it's like a train wreck where you can't look away, but you almost want to because of just the brutality of choke force. Eli Everfly giving up over a foot. And Lord knows how much in weight. Oh, but Eli able to use his momentum, brings the big man down with a cross face locked in. This is very smart. Eli's got to keep Eric Watts on the mat. He's got to keep him down, down low. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want him at that vertical base. Absolutely not. Eli able to get some sort of advantage over his opponent, but Watts just too much, just too much power. There's nothing you can do about Eli it. Eli Everfly hanging off of him. The, the, the strength in those huge legs, those tree trunks of Eric Watts. He's like a sloth on a tree branch. But able to wind his way out of the ring, just enough time to dodge the attack. Now, Hyman up, perched on that top, top turnbuckle. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, did you hear that? Just squashing him like an insect. Thudding across the oh, well. back between the shoulder blades, but now. With Eli, with Eli equalizing things in uh, maybe an unsportsmanlike fashion, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Eli Everfly, you do what you gotta do. Slam down to the mat. And now, both competitors down. Nick Bonanno beginning his count. Can Eli Everfly pick up the pieces of his broken body and make a cover right now? Can Eli Everfly prove that he is back and better than ever after the, almost two months out of the ring? Cover made, leg hook. Watts gets up. It took him too much time to get on to get on top of Eric Watts. Eli Everfly might, he may have come back from this injury a little too soon, but you can't keep him out of the ring. That's just the kind of competitor he is. Watts now, though undefeated here at Bar Wrestling Singles Competition, is he trying to keep his streak going? As he picks Eli up, he's got... He's a 8, the eight 10 feet in the air! Murder bomb! He dropped him from damn near the rafters. But Eli Everfly needs to roll out of the ring. Or he's done. Eli so quickly toward rolling to safety, but able to kick out at two and three quarters. Watts frustration mounting. Is it frustration or is he happy that he's getting to inflict even more punishment? I think he wants to break Eli Everfly in half. He wants to end his career tonight. But do you think he's one of the people, including I'm sure some people in the audience, who looked at this matchup and thought it would be an easy win? Holy hell. Beating the snot out of Eli Everfly. The fly, the drop kick from the top. Does not take Watts off his feet though, and a right hand. 
knocks Eli Everfly loopy. Eli with a knee strike, and now got Watts up and over, rolling creeps of distance, but runs into a big boot from big man. Gotta say here. Oh, looking for that murder bomb once more, but Eli! Oh, him on the counter! Legs hook! This is it! Big upset! Eric Watts with a loss here in Bar Wrestling. Incredible win from Eli Everfly here at Bar Wrestling, ending the undefeated single streak of Watts.